So I heard the radio play again, and not to my surprise, but in a way, just a frustration, is, oh uh, yeah, um, Pride Rock Anthem came on. You know, again, for the thousandth time. Pride Rock Anthem, if you don't know what it is, eh, good for you. If you do, then I'm pretty sure you feel the same way about me. As you know, this song is completely overplayed and is utterly ridiculous now. In fact, I like the 331 E Rock's version of the song. That's what I like. The, that version of the song. Anyway, but that's the point here. I really think that we need to start working on getting metal music and rock music more onto the radio, onto the more mainstream radio now. We should work on that more. We need to get radio DJs to be able to play our music on the mainstream radio. Don't give me that, you know, oh, it's not suitable for the public or it's not marketable. You know, don't give me that, you know, crap. There are plenty of people out there who like this kind of music, me and myself included. That's reason number one. Reason number two is it's radio. Radio has its own audience, its own following. And reason number three is reasons why some of you might actually think the radio is the way it is might not actually be true. Uh, I went to an auto show and one of the radio stations in my city was there. I go up to them and I'm like, hey, you know, what's up with you guys? And the lady was like, what? And it's like, you know, you guys put, I'm like, you know, what's up with you guys playing the same songs over and over again? These pop songs, you know, can't you play anything else? You know, and I was like, you know, maybe you could play my song too. So I was like, you know, maybe can't you just play my song too? And it's like, apparently, no, that's for them, that's not how it works. So you see what happens here is that and this surprised me that record companies have to actually pay the radio station the radio station to play the song I'm not this is what I'm just basing this off what this lady told me at this at this auto show who was representing this radio station it was like it was like for an artist to get a song playing the radio you need to go through a you need to get signed to a record label in the first place then that record label has to go to you to the radio station and pay the radio station to play the song. I was surprised, so I asked her, what about advertisements? And she said, you know, advertisements, yes, they make revenue, but it's not as much as you think it is. So apparently, to my surprise, the public's, uh, the public's view on radio, you know, the public's, apparently, you know, with this radio station, maybe even more radio stations, apparently, the public's opinion on what's on the air doesn't matter. That's right, it doesn't matter. So they're not going to care if they're playing a song as long as they make the most money off of it and that's the way it works in this capitalistic society. The way the the point of capitalism is to make money basically. That's the basic that's the that's one of the basic outlines of capitalism. That's one of the basic outlines there. So this made me thinking. So it's you know this made me thinking. So let me get this straight. So in order to get my songs or get some metal songs played on that radio station, I need to either one, go to a co record label or company, or two, make one, start one up. That record company then has to go to the radio stations and do all that stuff. You know, all the paperwork, all that stuff, you know, to get the song played. I'm pretty sure the radio would be very, very, very happy about that. Because now... Because now, um... Uh... Because now, you know... They got their money. And... What does this show me? Again, like I said before, it shows that... The public opinion of what's on the radio doesn't really matter. And that makes sense in a way. That's why... When you think about it from that perspective, that's why I always keep playing party rock anthem. That's why I always keep playing these songs, because record company labels just pay them to play it. They pay them to play these songs. So what do we have to do about this? I urge, I'm calling on all the record labels, all the heavy metal record labels, and all the rock and roll record labels. You know, record labels like Metal Blade and Nuclear Blast Europe to start. You know. 
go into some of these radio stations and start paying them to play some of their songs. You know, it doesn't matter in this system. You know, this isn't a communist system where the government decides what music is played on the radio. This is a capitalist society, and as long as the radio stations get paid money, as long as they're making a profit some way from playing songs, you know, and they are, then they don't care what the people think listening to the radio station is. They don't care. I mean, that's what that showed me. I mean, like, who knows, maybe I could be wrong about this, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, taking legitimate, legitimately from someone who's a representative of a radio station, I'm pretty sure she knew what she was talking about. If not, then she shouldn't be working for the radio station in the first place. Another subject I want to bring up, I never really talk about this stuff, but I feel as though I should now. I feel as though that besides radio stations in major cities, wouldn't it be nice if we actually got together metalheads from all across the United States and we made our own town, we made our own city, we made our own place that we can call, you know, our own home, you know, a place where we can play our music and on, on the radio stations and have no real problems about it, where we can hang posters and signs everywhere, metal, rock and roll, everywhere. A heavy metal city, basically. I'm not going to get more into detail about that. I'm going to talk about that later. But, I mean, that sounds like a good idea to me, doesn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone would like that. And that would be a really great city, in my opinion. Because that would be a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, friendship and a lot of, like, um, and a lot of, you know, good could come out of that. You know? We're all united with metal and rock and roll. And even though there are some divisions, that's bound to happen when you have as big of a music genre as we do. At the end of the day, when you look inside yourself, you know you want something like radio stations playing rock music or metal music. That's also something we're, I want to like bring on later. Is like you know how we should you know get rid of all these. Uh, you know, all these prejudices we have against people who listen to different types of metal, alternative, or whatever, and somehow we have to go, you know, somehow we think we're better than them because we listen to this band over that band, and somehow we're a better person because of that. It's a little childish and just plain sad, really. I mean, you can't just respect that person for liking the music they like, liking, liking the bands they like. Anyway, back to this metal radio station thing. Um, like, I feel as though that record companies, heavy metal record companies, should start pitching in. So, pitch in, guys. Also, um, quick shout out here to 99.3 Roman FM. Roman FM is small time radio station, partly internet and partly, um, FM. But it's very small frequency. Very, very, very small. So, most likely, you're going to have to listen in via radio. So go to www.romanfm.net. Thanks for listening in. Peace.